हेलो आई एम मैन पाइथन इंजा बोर्ड कैंप में आपका स्वागत है इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ट्यूपल्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ट्यूपल्स आर वेरी सिमिलर टू लिस्ट हाउ एवर दे आर इम्यूटेबल दैट मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्यूपल कांट बी चेंज लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस एंड द सिमिलरिटी बिटवीन लिस्ट एंड ट्यूपल विद एन एग्जाम्पल आई एम गोन से लिस्ट एल इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री so i can access the value from the list by using indexing let's say l0 it will return 1 from the list that's how the sequence work now i'm going to make the tuple let's say t equal to parenthesis 1 comma 2 comma 3 If you check out the output of tuple T, it will return one, two, three inside the parenthesis. Now to access the tuple, I'm gonna use indexing as I did for the list. I'm gonna say T zero. It will return one from tuple T. That's how the sequence works. So tuple is order sequence. Just like list, we have the option in Python that the tuple can hold different object types. I'm gonna make a tuple. Let's say T equal to parenthesis one as an integer. comma 1.2 as a floating point comma value as a string and call t it will return parenthesis 1 as an integer comma 1.2 as a floating point comma value as a string if i say t and put 2 in the bracket it will return value if you notice value is a string so we can perform all the things as we did in the string lecture Let's say T two and for next level indexing, put bracket and inside it zero. It will return V as a output. I could use colon colon minus one for reversing the string value. I can also use the method such as upper for capitalize. So what it is basically doing here, returning the string value, and with this we can perform all the operations we did in the strings lecture. Let's go ahead and try to change the value of the tuple. Here I have the tuple one comma one point two comma values. If you notice the value at t zero, it will return one. Now I'm trying to assign the new value. Let's say t zero equal to five. If you notice, it will return tuple object. Object does not support a string assignment. This is really important to know that tuple is immutable. Means we can't change the value of the tuple elements. Teacher, Mangser, why we are using tuple when we have list? Okay, class. Listen. Suppose you are passing any object. I need to make sure that it doesn't change. So tuple can be the solution for that. As you know, it is immutable. That means you can't change the value. Got it, Tamta? Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and try to explore the built-in method for the tuple. I'm gonna create a tuple. Let's say t equal to parenthesis one comma one comma two comma two comma two three comma four comma five. Now to use the method, I'm gonna say t dot. Since we are using Jupyter Notebook, press tab. It will show you the list of available methods for tuple. Go ahead and select the count method from the drop-down list. Put one inside the parenthesis. Is, it will return the occurrence of one in the tuple. That is two times. Similarly, try other method. I'm gonna say t dot index and enter the value that exists in the tuple t. Let's take four and it will return six as an index number. Students, subscribe करें S N Gurukul channel को. Press the bell icon to see the latest tutorial. Comment करें to give your valuable feedbacks and suggestions. नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम कवर करेंगे फाइल टिल देन प्रैक्टिस एंड थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग